Until then, let's get back to business. Bucky's Mock Draft 3.0. Saquon Barkley to the Browns at number four. This would be an unbelievable draft. It would be an unbelievable draft for the Cleveland Browns because I've heard unanimously this is the best player in the draft. Well, he's the best player in the draft. He should go up high. I know he's a running back, and I know they've been seemingly devalued in the draft, but when you have a special player, and I'm saying that Saquon Barkley can do some of the things that Levy and Bell can do for the Pittsburgh Steelers, you put him in Cleveland, you're talking about changing the offense, a more explosive offense, it closes the gap on the rivals in the AFC North. And they're comparing him to a young Ladanian Tomlinson, so this guy looks to be the limit. What what do you think, Saquon Barkley to Cleveland, DJ? Well, I, I agree. He is the best player in the draft, but they had to get the quarterback first to make sure they took care of that. Good they point. did that. When you look at this Browns team, you want to get excited if you're a Browns fan? How about this? Sam Darnold's 20 years old. Saquon Barkley's 20 years old. David Njoku, the tight end, 21. Duke Johnson, 24. Jarvis Landry, 25. Youth this movement. offense could be okay. outstanding for a very long time. All right. Well, NFL.com draft analyst Lance Zerline, you've been waiting patiently. You've heard Bucky's Mach 3.0 up to here. So, Barkley, number four to Cleveland. What say you? I'm good with it. I mean, if you can get Darnold and Barkley, if you come out of, out of the draft with those two guys with your first two picks, I think you're on the road to not only respectability, but a playoff run within two years. I really love what Cleveland has, you know, in place in terms of the draft. But what Barkley gives you is immediate help in the running game, and I think he also offers an opportunity to change culture in that locker room. He's very, you know, high character from a football standpoint, a personal standpoint, but he's also, I think, Ezekiel Elliott from the standpoint of he can play all three downs for you at any position or any place on the field, and he is a game changer when it comes to hitting the chunk plays out of the backfield as well as as a runner. So I really love that pick for them at number four. You know, the big thing for me when I'm looking at the Cleveland Browns and what they need, this is a team that hasn't won. They haven't won a lot in the last couple of years. No? Everybody that they're bringing on, they're winners. They're guys okay. that understand how to win. So we talk about changing the culture in the locker room. Guys who have won understand the sacrifice that is needed to play team ball. I believe Sam Donald will give you that. Saquon Barkley, some of the other guys that they'll bring in, they are trying to flip the culture in Cleveland. And the best way to do it is get really good players who also understand how to win. You know, the other thing I really like, Bucky, is that with Saquon Barkley, I think it takes a lot of pressure off Tyrod Taylor, and then in the future takes a lot of you know, pressure off Sam uh, Darnold as well, if Barkley falls to four. So I really like that from the standpoint of the more you run the ball successfully, the less pressure is going to be on the quarterback position, and I think everything runs more smoothly when you have a running game. There's just less, I think there's less potential uh, for for for. Uh, a, a static offense or an offense that just isn't able to, to get into a little bit of a role. And I think that's what he gives you with that running game. Obviously, with the, the way they've lost games the last couple of years, yeah. a lot more work to be done in this roster. The good news for the Browns, those second-round picks, they can address the corner position. They can get another offensive tackle. So I think right now you just got your offense in a really good spot, but there's still a lot more work to do yeah. in the second round. It would be a wealth of riches if the draft goes according to Mr. Bucky Brooks and his mock draft 